So, Warner Brothers, DC Comics. We need to have a talk. Play you like a violin and cut your string. Nighty night, back. Hey everybody, it is Magoo Hoot. Now, I want to send this message directly to Warner Brothers and DC Comics. As a disclaimer before I start this video, keep this in mind guys. I am a neutral fan. I love comic books. So I am not a Marvel fan. I'm not a DC fan. I'm a comic book fan. I grew up very much with the 1966 Batman series, uh, the cartoons, the animated series back I think in 95, you know, um, the Justice uh, League or the Super Friends and just all this stuff, I grew up on this. Not Marvel, but DC. So I do have a passion for DC. But we have major problems. If this was a relationship, it would be labeled as it's complicated. While everybody else is posting their reviews on Batman vs Superman, you can get those reviews anywhere else. You're gonna get the people who are saying it's crap, and then the people who are saying it's wonderful and the best comic book movie of all time. Rotten Tomatoes? Ooh. Um. Ooh. If we must, guys, let's look at Batman vs. Superman. The problems, the flaws with everything. You introduce characters, and yes, the trio of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, that's great, but you introduce cameos of characters through an email. An email to Wonder Woman. What's up with that? Spoilers. But seriously, think about it. There wasn't many surprises. Lois Lane was even one-dimensional. She wasn't much of anything in this movie. It was very disappointing as a fan. And as stated, I really want this to be good. I tried to not have any expectations. Come on, guys. This is not going to outdo Marvel. Marvel is a juggernaut. We need to talk Warner Brothers and DC Comics, and the reason being is this. You are trying to compete with Marvel. It's so obvious. But you're overcompensating where you don't need to. Let's face it. Marvel has had years on you guys building up a universe. Should you have been doing that? Maybe. But let me take you in a weird direction. You see, I used to be a major pro wrestling fan and there was a league called ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling. They competed against companies like the WWF and WCW for millions and millions of dollars that they threw at the wrestlers and pyrotechnics and lighting and graphics and all that. And the innovator of ECW was a guy by the name of Paul Heyman. And one thing he said in an interview that stuck with me and I apply it to so many different things is, is that if you don't specialize in something, why emphasize on it? I mean, you have all these multi-billion dollar companies with lights and pyro and, and stuff. Why try to focus on that? Let's focus on different things. And I think that Warner Brothers slash DC Comics in the movie land could really, really take lessons from that. Do I think Marvel's superior to DC? No, but Marvel's doing a better job already. I really want DC to be good at movies and the reason being is because if that is good then Marvel has to step up their game and so on and so on and we all win as fans. But the problem is they're trying to cram all this stuff. Maybe this movie, Batman vs. Superman, sucked just because of the fact that they were trying to cram all this stuff to build the universe into one movie. But for the time being, 2016, people are probably going to be talking about Marvel or the Suicide Squad, which there's still Marvel and there's still the Suicide Squad movie to come out. Maybe it'll be great, maybe it'll be a flop. But DC, Warner Brothers, you really have me scared here. Sincerely, I hope the best, and I really want you to succeed. 
in the comments down below, guys. Let me know what do you think about all this stuff. Do you feel that the movie was great? Do you feel it sucked? Do you think Warner Brothers is slacking and just trying to overcompensate and try to like just catch up to Marvel? Or do you feel that it's not all about that and it's nothing to worry about? 